What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the AndroidAppsReview.com. Today we're slinging out yet another video review, and slinging is the usual verb that I say, but slinging applies particularly to today's review of the application called Grapple, or rather this is an arcade game for the Android platform, and it's available for free in the uh, Google Play Store, so if you want to go ahead and grab it so you can play along at home, it's not a bad idea. It does come with advertisements along the bottom here. We'll talk more about that in just a second. But this is what the uh, main screen looks like. So we've got grapple, we've got some lines going on, um, etc. Some various buttons we'll talk about. But as you can tell, just right off the bat, it's a pretty well designed application. We'll talk more about that in just a second. But there's a high production quality here, which is something that we usually look for in a new arcade game because we're quite fans of the genre. And uh, there's a lot to love here. So without any further ado, let's kind of pop in and show you how this works. We're going to select this trail size, uh, normal, short, shorter, shortest. Uh, we're going to go short and see what happens. And then when you're ready to hit start, just hit start. Then it will load up the game. Uh, we'll refocus a bit. Sorry, my uh, fingers are causing some light pollution there. So we'll retry. The basic game mechanic involves this, which is swinging. Basically, you tap to hold to stay in a holding pattern. And then when you're ready, you can release and then fly off some more. In this way, you can slowly progress up the field and then uh, gain more points until you hit something and die. This is a pretty tricky game, and stuff like that happens a lot, I will say. Uh, it took us a while to get a hold of the mechanic. It is pretty difficult, and there's not a lot of explanation either on how to do this and how to do this effectively. One of the things that I wish they had said, perhaps, on the front end is that it's less about doing this speedily and a lot more about doing this sort of with a certain finesse and a little bit of uh, strategy. Um, the, the more strategy you can put into this, the better. Um, as far as moving with the field, that will make things easier on you, and you will find that you get a lot more in terms of points. So to show you this again, uh, basically we'll be speeding along, and then when we're... <laughs> also again, you have to hit this before you hit a certain point. So um, if we're going along, I want to tap it like now-ish um, to actually attach myself to one of these orbital points. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind as we go through it. Anyway, that's the basic mechanic. Uh, you want to collect apples as you go along too. Apples are kind of like in-game currency. Uh, they're super important, and um, as are these power-ups, which I failed to hit, but they, uh, they do various things that enhance the gameplay. Um, and if you want to purchase these power-ups with your apples, you can't click this at any point in time. Uh, here you can buy apples themselves, uh, so this is where the in-app purchases come in, otherwise it's a totally free app. Um, if you want to buy power-ups specifically, you can come in here. Here's invincibility, magnetism, and slow time, as well as a boost ahead. All of these are quite handy. Um, I have 17 apples, which is not enough to get anything, I don't think. Now we need about 30, which is not terrible, honestly. Uh, it wouldn't take long to get that. So let's try to get some more apples. Um, this is the basic mechanic, and again, it is pretty tricky. You will find that you die a lot, um, at least initially, until you kind of get things figured out. And uh, you do have to be wary of the fact that all of these things, uh, all of these orbital points, you can smack into them. Uh, that's a problem. We do like certain things about the game, though. It'll show you exactly where you went wrong. You can see your previous path. There's leaderboards involved, likewise you can share this to social media. And again, the graphics are pretty good, usually with these kinds of upstart uh, arcade games, especially ones with really unique concepts. We find that, um, you know, sometimes they don't look that great, but in this case, Grapple's a pretty solid-looking game. It's, uh, you know, not uh, going to win any international awards for design, but then again, it's not bad at all. It's really good. Uh, in terms of ingenuity, it doesn't look like anything else. Really, it's not a retro knockoff. It's not trying to be something it's not. It's just clean, it's simple, and uh, it comes with a control mechanic that cannot be better, too. I mean, it's pretty simple. Just tap and hold, and it will attach itself to the nearest possible orbital point. So worth knowing that you don't have to tap the orbital points themselves. I tried doing that a lot, especially at the beginning, and it doesn't quite work that way. Um, so don't try to do that. This is not going to end well for me, I don't think. And it did. It worked out pretty well, actually. Um, until I smack the wall. But again, you don't have to tap the actual orbital points themselves, you can just tap the screen. So that's kind of the basic mechanic, all in all, we like it, we like the lines, uh, the option to have different line sizes, that's nice, uh, or trail sizes, excuse me. Um, you know, all in all, it's a solid game, we don't really mind the advertisements at the bottom either, the game mechanic is simple and fresh, as is the idea. So all in all, this is a pretty easy one to recommend, um, if you're looking for a new Android uh, arcade game to mess around with. This is uh, about as good as it gets, plus it's free, which means there's no cost to try it. So all in all, again, it's a 4 out of 5 faux grapple, um, as well as a solid recommendation from us if you're looking for a new title to mess around with. 
This is an excellent one, and uh, you will find too that the more you play it, the better you will get at it, um, which is quite handy. So uh, really try to learn to wage, uh, or excuse me, gauge the uh, spin on these things, and then really kind of uh, dial in your your technique, and you'll find it's it's easier than you think. Though there is quite a bit of challenge in the front end. So anyway, that's all we have to say about it. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. But again, it's a four out of five star rating for Grapple, and that's all I have to say. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.